You may have heard me say that Tai Chi uses a lot of circular and spiral movements. And I want you to try to pay attention to a spiral movement. Spiral movement, two hands are really moving in spirals. They're moving in spirals. Obviously, you see the arms moving, but you can watch the hands. It comes this way, doesn't come down this way. The spiral is coming across. And you saw my hand go out here, and then all of a sudden it's here. And if you watch the hand, the hand starts to do this, and the hand starts to do this, and then it starts to do this. So sometimes you get lost. You're just seeing the big movement, and this is the spiral, okay? forward, chest, down, spiral, or, but it's also the hand is going. You can watch the hand. If, if, I, if I just stayed in one place, it would be, I would just be doing this, okay? So spiral. So it's two spirals, yeah? And the spirals are sort of not quite at the same tempo, otherwise it would be, it's the two come this way but they're going in opposite directions one is going out and one is coming to the center but nevertheless when this one goes out this guy comes to the center and coming forward so it's just get it otherwise what happens is some people forget and they come this way and they they think oh well I'm down here then they, they start to come across it's sort of a muddling because you're not thinking because this hand is coming down so you make it mixed up but if you're Strike forward, come right across the chest, strike down, come up, strike forward, come across the chest, come down. Okay? So, and you will see this in a lot of Tai Chi. You will see the spiral movement. Look for the spiral. That adds, in some ways adds a little bit of grace, but you'd be surprised. Sometimes just a, just a, finishing touch with the hand after you've done the growth movement, first with the body and then with the upper extremity and finishing with the hand, that gets you where you want to be, particularly when you get to more difficult movements. Every little bit counts when you're using your whole body. Another thing is, again, we, we, we talk about core muscles and obviously the core muscles are basically what are from the upper shoulders, uh, back, waist, buttocks, thighs. That's, a, that's where the, your, your, the core of your body is. You move that and everybody else will follow in some fashion. Okay? And Tai Chi, both the, the I guess the, the power, the, the power comes from the core, it goes back to the core. For instance, if we were to do a commencing form, the power is not here. The power is underneath here. Remember? We teach you to do this, and then we teach you to do this, going back, shoulder drops down. But the power emanates from here, and the finishing touch is here. Hands, finishing touches, you, you're dropping your shoulders, but you really, as you drop your shoulders, you're making your, the back muscles sort of tighten down a little bit and come down. Okay. Same thing with, with uh, holding the ball. Holding the ball is not putting your hands together. It's The hands are doing this, but this is doing that. Getting it here, okay? And then when you go out, this is doing this, but what's happening is the core muscle is starting, it starts to do this, and you do a thing which we sort of say, 
making yourself small. Uh, tai Chi has that sort of uh, opposites together. You are making yourself small, but you are making yourself stronger. So strength comes with making yourself small. Because as you come down, you're dropping your shoulders and everything is centering to... Okay, coming back. When you come back and hold the ball, what happens? You're bringing your power back in. As you can feel it coming down here, the upper part is doing its turn too. Or, or in this case, Our center, okay, here, out, power out from here forward as you're coming this way. In this case, when we do the, the, uh, the uh, parting of the horse's mane, you're out here, but the power is still here. And then as you turn and the power starts to advance, then it's coming here, here, but also coming up here, and here. Just as, although this is sort of a balance, it's a counterbalance, but the core muscles is a platform, whether you, your arm is coming back or forward, the platform, okay? Again, bringing everybody back in, center. From a martial arts standpoint, Great position to be in. Because if the guy comes over this way, as you're coming in, guy's coming this way, this way, guy's coming here, you do this, and if the guy's gonna hit your head, you go up here. See, so you're centered, but as you're centered, you're in a little cocoon. And we talk about palm, it's this sense of resistance. When you come here, it's not like your hand is limp. You brought everybody in and you are in your cocoon. It should be, if somebody were to push it up or down, you have it, even though you look very relaxed. You don't have to be tight this way. You are relaxed, but you have this tone.